Hey brothers and sisters, this is your host Neil Bertilla for Footwork Ministries here at work right now just waiting to clock in but I want to share with you brothers and sisters a very powerful revelation when I was watching one brother's videos and shout out to um, Prestige Master on um, TikTok I seen the brother's video and it just sparked the light bulb in my head about the Antichrist and Jesus Christ first coming. Remember when Jesus Christ first came, he said that if the world hates you, know that they hated me first. And everybody who follows after Christ, notice that the world starts to hate you. When you gave your life to Christ, and I'm talking to believers, you notice that your family starts to hate you for no reason. Friends start to walk away from you. People that you were very close with, you start to fall out of these relationships. And it's not that you're trying to be at odds with these people. Because God has called us to love these people. But notice when Christ came the first time. And he's come to love the world. The world rejected God's love. Right? But he said something very important. And this is going to help you in the end times. To know who is of God and who is not of God. If you're preaching about Jesus and you're being hated for preaching about the gospel of Christ, understand that you're going in the right direction. Now, if you're preaching about a different Christ or you're preaching about things that are worldly and you're being accepted by the world, you really need to examine your heart to see if you're in the faith or not. Because the more acceptance you get from the world, that means the further away you are from God's love, and you're going in the directions of the Antichrist. Now let's fast forward this. The Antichrist is going to be received by the world. It says the world love its own. So if Antichrist is of this world, it says the God of this world who is Satan blinds the minds of them who don't believe. So I know a lot of us, we don't want to deal with rejection. I know a lot of us, we want to be accepted. We want to feel appreciated. We want to feel acknowledged. But this is something that I've been dealing with for the last couple of days. And I had to come to terms with this because in my own personal walk, I've had people that were very close to me that did me wrong, right? And people that I try to teach and preach to, you know, they had to go their separate ways. And yeah, it bothered me for a while. But I realized that, you know what, when God separates you from certain people, you may not understand it at first. Because, I, you know, I don't even talk to my family like the way I used to neither. That's another thing. My relationship with my family fell apart once I started walking with God. Close friends that I used to hang out with, they all went away. You know? And I'm just telling you guys, you're going to have a few people in your circle. If that... And sometimes you may not have nobody in your circle, but just you and God. And you just got to trust in the process of what God is helping you to move through and go through. But he also understand when God has you in this state, he's teaching you how to have discernment of spirit. He's teaching you the difference between the kingdom of God versus the kingdom of darkness. See, the world is in darkness. So the whole world is covered in the kingdom of darkness. So if you like darkness, you're going to be attracting people who are like you. But if you're a child of God, you're not going to find a lot of people who are really for God, even though they say they're for God. You're going to find a lot of people who say they're for God, but their fruits are darkness. You're going to find a few good people in your life that really is about that life. And you're few in number, as much as I hate to say it, a lot of Christians that say that they're Christians... They're not really Christians. See, the Antichrist is going to come with gifts, signs, wonders, and miracles. And people who are always looking for signs, wonders, miracles, blessings, y'all are the ones that are going to fall away. If y'all don't learn these things that I'm saying to you right now, you got to learn to accept rejection, even though it's hard. I'm not saying it is easy. I'm going through it right now. But you got to know the difference when you're rejected by the world that means you're doing right by god if you're accepted by the world that means you're not doing right by god it's the, quite the opposite you think that in order 
to do right by God, you got to be accepted by everybody. But God is not in the world. You see, the things of this world is the lust of the flesh, lust of the eye, and the pride of life. These things are not of the Father, but of the world. He says, choose this day which mass you're going to serve. So if you choose money, you choose your family, you choose clout chasing, it says men will be lovers of themselves. If you love yourself more than you love God, you're looking for titles, positions of power. Check your heart, brothers and sisters, because when you're rejected, that means you're accepted by God. When you're accepted by the world, that means you're rejected by God. If you're always seeking the approval of others, doesn't matter if they're Christian or not Christian. If you're always seeking the approval of others and never going to God for the acceptance or never seeking for God for advice, and I could apply to anything, marriage, uh, dating, whatever, whatever situation you're in. If you don't go to God for his counseling, but you're going to marriage counselors and people who have given, given you guys dating advice, these are worldly people. They're not God. They don't dictate what goes on in your life. And if you're allowing them to dictate what goes on to your, in your life, that means you are worldly. And you need to remove those idols out of your heart. I'm just being honest with you guys. I just wanted to share that with you guys because that was on my mind this morning. And I'm going to catch you guys and ladies in the next video. Peace.